Hey Sagittarius, this is your weekly reading. It's timeless, so I hope it resonates when you do see it, alright? So don't forget to like, subscribe, and share you all. Don't forget the bell button so you can be reminded when I post reads. And if you're interested in the sale I got going on or any other uh, personal readings, my information is posted below. That's just for the Sagittarius. The Ace of Cups. The Queen of Cups. Okay. You're getting downloads from the universe. And I have the judgment. Okay. Whatever downloads that you are getting from, from the universe, Sagittarius, the universe wants you to be more selective of who you let into your life, who you allow into your life. If someone gives you a bad impression or a bad feeling the first time, you, you already got to know, make a decision. You either cut that person out or, or keep on dealing with the BS. All right. Ten of Pentacles. Hmm. The Temperance. And then we have the Seven of Swords. Is this person all their? Is this person Sagittarius all they are cracked up to be? You ask. You ask yourself that question. Are you? Are, are you? Are they in it just for the booty? The booty call. The sex. Okay. So we have the Ace of Swords, the Queen of Cups, and you have to make a decision. You really, really have to think hard about a person or a situation and decide whether or not you want to be, that you want to stay stuck to this person because you probably have a wealth of feelings for this person. This person has probably took you through the ringer and you probably don't know a lot about this person despite the fact that they know a lot about you. We got the Ten of Pentacles, the Temperance card, and the Seven of Swords. Uh, you like, it's like you all are like water and electricity. Y'all just don't mix, okay? This person is, is sneaky. This person has probably stole from you, okay, or taken from you. And you have probably willingly gave and gave and gave to this person, okay? But I have the the, the, uh, the journey card here at the end of the deck. And this, this situation needs to change. You need to, to walk away from this issue if it no longer serves you because this person is a fucking thief. Excuse my expression. They stole from you whether you realize it or not. And they stole your peace of mind too, which is a huge, huge issue for you, okay? And the Ace of Cups, it's like you knew when you first hooked up with this person, this jack leg, that they weren't no good, okay? Something about this person, your, intu your intuition told you don't trust this person, okay? But you let the, you, <laughs> but you let the dick in and, and the coochie in and, and one thing led to another and that shit was on fire, okay? But somebody got burned, okay? Got great fortune, you know, some kind of something was stolen because you have the Ten of Pentacles here. And we have here thoughts, you know, that you're, you, know, you already knew intuitively that something wasn't right about this chick or this dude. All right. Sagittarius, what's going on here? We got house. Maybe you move this person in, realizing like, damn, that's a false person. You know, this person told me that I was the main person in their life. You know, you come to find out that there was something shady about this person that you just couldn't touch. It was like this this kind of situation where you feel that something isn't right about the person. You just couldn't figure out what it was. Yeah. What's the judgment part about? Toil and labor. It was this person get it, it was it was hard for you to get along with this person. It was hard for you to even figure this person out. Okay? And this person probably didn't work and even though they told you that they did but they probably were married to somebody else anyway and they have here we have sudden wealth okay so this person probably was with you for your income or for what you could bring into the relationship okay and they were hiding the fact that they were with somebody else adjudication maybe they told you that they were divorced and they were probably just uh, not divorced but seen but separated or a legal separation or something like this while they were courting you OK, and they were probably telling you that that they were separated, but they, they were still courting or dating, which is true. You know, some of them were in a full blown marriage and other people were just separated from their spouses. And we have here mature woman and we have expectation. OK, so this person, you're probably a little older than this person. OK, or this person told you my, my spouse passed away. OK. And, and they were with you for, for a place to live. Or, or if they got out of a relationship, if they got out of a separation, it was like, well, I need to find, well, you need to get out of my house. You need to find somewhere else to go because you can't stay here. And their spouse or a significant other threw them out and they felt that, hell, you made, I got a, a main chick that I talked to, you know, I'm going to go knocking at her door to see if I can get in. 
<clears throat> just somewhere to lay my head, that kind of thing. So in, in essence, Sagittarius, they were more than likely using you, whether, whether you realize it or not, or knew it or not, or trying to find a way to benefit them and not you. You know, uh, just being, in hindsight, it's 2020, you probably figured that out after the fact, okay? After they finished maybe uh, burning through all, all of your money or using you uh, for sex, or whatever it was, using you for their benefit, okay? Using you for their benefit. And we have here the High Priestess, the Ace of uh, the Ace of Cups, and we have the Two of Pentacles. And you know this, but, but you were like, huh, I, I, I thought about it for a minute, I prayed about it, you know, because you're the High Priestess, you had that third eye, you got the Ace of Cups. And this alone, with you having a very high intuition told you, you know, that this person was holding on to a bunch of nonsense, and you had to figure out what it was to get this person out of your house and out of your life. You were done with this. You don't need this kind of energy because you know you picked up, you picked, you finally, finally followed your intuition and you prayed about it and you thought about it. We got the six of wands and we got the queen of swords. I'm the queen of the king of swords. I got my intuition told me to cut your stupid ass short and I did. You got this person out of your life and that changed you for the better. It changed you for the better or at least it should have. Okay. It should have. All right. <clears throat>